Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the ultimate beginner's guide for 2023. Uh, yes, it's been a long time, just very busy in the background with my upcoming guide series for 0 0.85. And of course, you know, IRL stuff and other things. But today I'm going to give you guys a detailed guide to bunkers. There's 25 bunkers on the map because every single sector has got a bunker and you can always go to scummap.com to see where every single bunker is but right off the top of my head that's the D4 bunker, that's the D3 bunker, that's the D2 bunker, that's the D1 bunker and that's the D0 bunker okay. So every um, sector has a bunker, there's 25 bunkers and yes a bunker gives you more or less the same loot, but a bunker consists out of different rooms, and different rooms um, tend to give you different kinds of um, loot. So to give you guys a complete guide, because in the previous one, I showed you guys how to handle sentries, and the upcoming sentries are going to be very, very lethal and a lot of fun. Um, and if any of their mechanics change or I need to teach you so guys something new about them, then you know, just make sure you like and subscribe to this video and to this channel um, because the upcoming 0 0.85 guide will be something you guys have never seen before or something I've never done before. So um, the reason we are at the biggest and most dangerous bunker in the game which is c2 which is close to the c2 trader is because it's got all the rooms that you need in a bunker but it's not the best okay um it is the biggest it's got all the rooms but the spawn points of certain items are not the same at every bunker so let's say i'm looking for hiking backpacks do I know what rooms hiking backpacks can spawn in? Yes. But are the spawn points the same at every single bunker? No. Okay? So, what I'm trying to motivate you guys with is trying to explore every bunker, loot every bunker at least 10 times. There's 25 bunkers. If you loot all 25 10 times, you've done it 250 times, okay? And make notes of every bunker what you found there, okay? Like what stood out to you? What did you like about the bunker? Maybe it was things that you need to focus on when looking at a bunker. Is Was it difficult to get past the sentries? Every bunker has got different sentry routes. So, you know, um, did the sentry give you a lot of time to get into the door or um you know did you find it difficult to get into that bunker then when you go in there you know you look at how many how much medical equipment could i get in this bunker how many padlocks could i get into this bunker for my base how many um military gear could i get into in this bunker you know how many backpacks and clothing did i get in this bunker and just you know with that try and find bunkers that you like but don't be too full of nonsense because at the end of the day i want to teach you that every bunker has got something to offer okay and it's not necessary to always come to the c2 bunker because the chances that you're going to find pvp here is very high so i'll give you a short breakdown of every bunker but to do that, I'm going to give you a short breakdown of what you can get inside of, um, of a bunker, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull up a map of the C2 bunker that my friend Warmonk has created for scummap.com. Um, you can see there, thanks to Warmonk, okay? He's one of my community members. And... As you can see here, the C2 bunker is very, very big. It's got two levels. You can see level one and level two. And at the side, you will see WC, which I will show you what WC looks like right now. The examination rooms, it's got labs. Okay, there's labs inside this bunker. It's got the medical rooms inside the bunker. 
Um, it's got the depots. It's got the control rooms. It's got, according to me, three armories. Um, then it's got stairs. Okay, it shows you where the stairs are, S1 and S2. Um, and yeah, so the C2 bunker has basically got all the rooms that will be important to you it's got the massive rooms where you see s1 and s2 the big open space those are very important rooms for ammunition and various gear it's got the control rooms which are very important for padlocks and bobby pins okay it's got everything that a bunker has to offer it's just all the other bunkers on the map don't have all of the rooms a lot of the bunkers don't have the big middle room and where there's a lot of cardboard boxes, you know, and a lot of things to search, which will help you a lot. Um, a lot of bunkers don't have three armories. There's only like five bunkers in the game out of 25 that has three armories. Okay, so if you're looking for military gear or um, key cards, you know, then those bunkers with the three armories are better for you. Um, so... Every one of one of the bunkers have got certain rooms which you will find certain items in. For instance, if you're looking for antibiotics because you've got an infection um, and you don't have money to go buy antibiotics, then you're going to have to go to bunkers with a lot of medical rooms or with a lot of labs to make the chances of you finding antibiotics higher. And of course, the... Um, the labs have got medical lockers that you need to lockpick, which can also give you um, antibiotics or medical equipment, and in rare cases, even Phoenix tears. Okay, so we're gonna go to every room, and of course, we can we're going into the left hand side entrance. You can see there's two entrances to this bunker. We're going into the left, and then we're gonna cover room by room. I'm gonna kill puppets because um, I was practicing my lock picking um, for Survival Evolved and I by mistake created a new character without remembering that the character that I've been doing these guides with was on my test server. But I didn't change the build in any major way. I just went from advanced rifles to advanced archery because I want to show you guys the bunker and I'm good with the bow. Sticked to um, advanced running. I stick to advanced thievery. And then instead of going advanced medical, I went medium medical and medium engineering. And like I crafted all these things, you know, the starting gear that I showed you guys in game, which took me to 16% survival. So, I'm just going to get to a jogging pace because I've got no stealth, which is very, very dangerous for sentries. And we're just going to focus on the sentry's vision. Okay, so I'm just going to jog in here. Go to a bush, like I've taught you guys. He's looking away from me. I'm going to come stand in this bush, okay? Looks very unrealistic. You can crouch down just to make it a little bit more realistic for you. That may can see me, so or that sentry can see me as well. So I need to focus on that sentry as well. And I can't really run or anything because the sentry will turn around immediately. So I'm just going to jog here. Going to stick to this side because I know he's not going to see me on this side. And then I'm going to jog into the bunker or run. I can go back and close the door. But I'm not interested in really closing the door now, okay? But I got in here safely because I just jogged, made sure there's distance between me and the sentry. And then, of course, you know, um, I utilized the, the closest cover to the bunker door. Okay, so I've got advanced archery. I don't really need to worry about the puppets in here. But we're going to come to the first rooms, okay? So... When I look at the map now, I will see that these are labs, okay? So I'm going to bring up the map for you guys again, the scum map, the, you know, the, the bunker layout from scummap.com. And you can see the first two rooms right here is our labs, okay? I'm not going to loot for cool drink and stuff, just going to show you guys. The, another tip for bunkers is these specific um lockers or shelves or whatever you want to call them is a good place to find night vision 
Okay, so you want to always search these... These loot, you know? These, I don't know what you call the cabinets. You want to always search these cabinets right here because it's these kinds of cabinets that give you night vision. So this is a lab. Okay, so on the map you will see L for lab. This is a lab, okay? What a lab can give you is bobby pins because it's got the desk that can usually give you bobby pins. It can give you um, now and then clothing. You, it can spawn like a quiver or a backpack in here. And they can have medical lockers. And if you unlock the lockers with lock picking, then you can get antibiotics or, or in very, very rare circumstances, Phoenix Tears. So very, very important for medical equipment. And then he's got medical, um, medical um, desks or you know, medical tables that can give you medical gear. Okay, it's got these uh, boxes that are, of course, just related to a medical room. So it can give you various kinds of random gear. Um, but you will, you know, you can find medical equipment in here. And now they scrap metal or something like that. So this is the other lab right here. Again, we could find bobby pins inside or padlocks, which is important for the base. Why is it important for the base? Because padlocks allows us to craft locks, okay? And a lock picking board. Very, very important. And again, we can just go one. There we go, potassium. Okay, which helps you with radiation. So that's medical equipment. We can put this little cap on our head if we want to. Medical, medical, um, medical loot spawner. Normal desk, which get, could have given us bobby pins. Again, you can just search through these. Antibiotics. Okay, antibiotics. In the first medical, in the first lab, or in the second lab that we've searched. Okay. So labs are very, very important for medical, for medical focused gear. Now, if we go look at the, if we go look at the, um, the map again, we're going to go left first because there are two E's. Okay. You can see there's two E's and those are examination rooms. And then we're going to skip the one depot on the other side because we will hit a depot if we go further down, okay? So first we're going to go check the examination rooms. Okay, so we're going to go here. Of course you want to loot everything in the corridors, but every bunker has got these corridors, have got more or less the same things that you search in the corridors. What separates a bunker is the rooms because not, all, not every bunker has the same rooms, and you need to understand why are you looting that bunker, because it's got a lot of the rooms of the loot that you want, okay? So these are two examination rooms, okay? There it says, examination room, and again, medically focused. Medically focused, and of course, you can find clothing in here, okay? So you search, search very, very medically focused, and you can find screwdrivers in here sometimes. But again, medically focused. And you want to just press tab here. Sometimes there's loot lying here or somewhere. Close the door behind us. Press tab to see if there's anything on the shelves. Okay, but as you can, like I said, screwdrivers, but as you can see, medically focused, okay? Then if we go around the corner, of course, you'll get all of these, all of these containers. Now, I'm just going to sort this guy by hitting him four times in the leg. Okay. So, if I can grab all four, that's good. I am going to search him. We always want to search the armored puppets because we can get various things. The big thing I'm looking for is, is, is a helmet. 
and the and the vest because I told you guys if you repair the helmets and the vests specifically the tactical vest that he, that you can get from him then you've got the max amount of armor on you okay so if we look at the map now okay we're gonna go back to the map then we will see on the left is a WC what is a WC and what is a depot okay so on the left is a WC. A WC is a toilet. Okay? Don't exactly know what WC stands for, but we're just gonna call it as we see it. A bathroom. Okay? Bunker bathroom. And then a, a bathroom, so WCs, bathrooms, are very, very important for um, medical equipment, clothing, screwdrivers, and backpacks, and guns. You can find medical equipment in here or bathroom equipment in here, which can give you screwdrivers. But if you look on the ground, you can find clothing, guns, and ammo, which is very important. So I like bathrooms. What I usually do is you can find loot like lying on the ground here. Okay, so I open all the doors. And then I press tab because I, you guys know that if you press tab, Everything around you will be shown in your vicinity. And then I just walk like that. Okay, then I know there's nothing that I missed. And like I say, you can get guns on the floor. You can get clothing. You can get backpacks. Okay, bathrooms, WCs, very important. This is a depository, a depot. And in a depot, you can get food, MREs, various things. It's got three boxes. One, four boxes, two three and four and it's good to play in third it's good to have th third person because you want to see if there's anything lying on the shelf sometimes there is something on the top shelf and third person will help you to see if there's anything on the top shelves okay okay so now we've covered three we've covered labs examination rooms bathrooms and depots now this is the big room that I showed you on the map. And the big rooms are very, very important because they've got a heck of a lot of loot inside them. Okay? Normally you get quite a lot of puppets inside here. And I mean, there's a lot of doors that leads to a lot of places. But I've had a heck of a lot of fights in these big rooms because people understand that they can get a lot of loot here. Okay? So you can find backpacks, you can find night vision, you can find guns. But... There's basically two sections of this room. There's the main section where you loot where you loot these things. Okay, there we find thread and scrap metal. So you can um, loot these colored containers. It's got workbenches if you ever need to craft something with workbenches. So having one of these bunkers close to you is never a bad idea because crafting a workbench at your base as a negative effect because if you craft ammo at your at, at the workbench that you craft the ammo will only have 50 percent durability so having a base somewhere close to a bunker or somewhere close to a place that has a workbench okay um will just help you a lot like if you have to craft ammo you can see you need a draw press or um you know draw presses or l lathe machines you know or the one that you craft, but you don't really want to use the one that you craft, okay? And here we've got a draw press, two draw presses, okay? So, of course, again, like I said, you can find clothing. We've already found the raincoat. We can cut this up. Raincoats are very good for uh, rags. And there we find an MRE, okay? Fantastic. And that's... that. These give you very good loot. You can find guns and everything on top of here, okay? So you will get lucky with good loot, what I searched now. What I'm going to do now is you guys can see what I have on me at the moment. I'm just going to put all the light equipment um, into my clothing. Okay, and I'm going to get rid of the potassium because we're not planning on going to the power plant. But now I'm going to loot every single cardboard box and every single one of those little boxes downstairs and upstairs and I'll show you what the results of that of that is
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I must say I've been playing this game for a very, very long time and I don't know if I've ever seen a hiking backpack in one of these shelves. I'm done with the bottom section where I found a M1911 magazine, a Deagle magazine and an M9 magazine. Remember those times where you find the gun but you're starting to find the clip? These are the rooms to get the clips, the ammo or the pistols inside. And apparently we just got a green camo hiking backpack. Okay. In these central rooms. And I must tell you these central rooms are one of my favorites. Okay, so let me just finish the top level and see what we get. Okay, this is a very, very, very average run for the bottom and top floor. And as you can see, on the top floor, we found the hiking backpack. We found 300 gunpowder, barbed wire, three screwdrivers, a flare, a padlock, 12 gauge um, bird shot, a dialogue, and a military compass, bolts, and an MP5 magazine. We got we got four different magazines, plus a dialogue, plus a compass, plus gunpowder. Okay, so this is below average what I usually find in these big rooms, but at least we've covered it. Okay, so if I'm right, uh, we came in. If I'm right, we came in on this side. I just want to make sure. This will be, yep, we came in on this side. Okay, so let's, you, let's just go look at the map again. So, that's the big room. As you can see, S8, S5 are stairs, which will take us to S8 or S5 on the second floor. But we want to cover everything that we can on the first floor so we've covered labs examination rooms depots depositories and bathrooms okay um we've got the control room on our left so let's just go look at the control room quickly because i don't think there's anything different on the bottom level so far no there's there are six labs eight labs there are eight labs so fantastic for medical equipment eight labs on the first floor um, six bathrooms, six depositories, four examination rooms, okay? And then, of course, you can see the top floor is going to be the floor, according to me, with three armories. But we're going to keep the armory doors open just to make sure of that. But let's just go to the control room quickly um, on the first floor so I can show you what the control room has, okay? So the control room is this way. There's the stairs. We're just going to go into the control room here. You see there, control room. This is what a control room looks like. Okay. Control room has got a lot of desks, which is very, very, very good. And yes, you can get a lot of bobby pins, but you must press tab because there will be a lot on the tables as well. Okay. So you can just search all of these desks get rubber bands or whatever but if i don't get a box of bobby pins i'll be very very surprised and again pressing tab or just looking for loot lying around i just like to press tab in the middle of them like i say if i don't find bobby pins i'll be very surprised there we have bobby pins okay great fast way to get bobby pins so like i say you get all the re all the different kinds of resources that you want in this bunker and here we can clearly see we get painkillers, we get water, and we get duct tape. And there's another padlock, more duct tape, everything has its uses. And more bobby pins, okay? We've got enough bobby pins. And then the control room just has these, um, again, just these little lockers here. Okay, this is also part of the control room. We can make a scope. We can make that, and from that we can make a scope. Okay. We can make a, a improvised scope for a sniper rifle with that. Or salad. More bobby pins. Okay, but I think we've got enough bobby pins for now.
and two more here. You can make that cool mask with that with that stuff. Okay, but let's just go back. I press tab here as well, just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, here we are at the entrance. We're going to go back to the map. And let's just see if there's anything on the second floor that um, isn't on the first floor. Bathrooms, depositories, what's a C? A C is a control room. Okay, so the second floor has got a control room. Um, it's got medical rooms. It's got, yeah, it's got the long medical rooms, which is usually four units. So the second floor has got medical rooms, which the fl first floor doesn't. It has, con it has control rooms. And it's got examination. Okay, now we already saw the examination rooms. And it's got the armories, which the first floor doesn't have. And of course, the first floor has got the kill box. Very, very important. Um, it's got a lot of depositories. But if I want to find more gear, if I want to find more guns, me personally, if I want to find backpacks and guns and then clothing and things that will help you with the inventory space, I'll search all the corridors, but I will focus on the bathrooms. Okay, the bathrooms and the offices will be very important to me. And that is what this bunker lacks. Just like I said, ladies and gentlemen, the C2 bunker lacks offices. And if you're looking for backpacks or um, water or bobby pins, but most importantly, padlocks. If you want to farm padlocks, the C2 bunker is not for you. End of story. Because... Yeah, can you find padlocks here? Sure. Is it the bunker to come to for padlocks? No. Because it's got no offices. The blue little block, it's got no offices. And offices tend to give you the most amount of padlocks. And they are just as good as the bathrooms for hiking backpacks and quiver, military quivers and stuff like that. Okay? So, let's go upstairs. And then we're going to enter the, let me see, we're going to enter the middle room and the middle room, okay? So we're going to enter, what the heck, what is the middle room? Let, let me just go check the map quickly. Hmm. That's very weird. It says it has a middle room. Oh, but it's the way we came in. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. I've got my bearings now. So we want to go into the middle rooms with the three doors. With the three doors. There's only two doors. We want to go into the middle rooms with the three doors. So that's one, two, three, three doors. We want to go into the center room with the three doors. And then we will get the we will get water there and you know food. But importantly, the first the first armory. We're gonna keep these armory doors open. So here we found a bulletproof vest, we found a brand new helmet, and we found a VHS. We could probably put the VHS in here, okay? And we don't even need lockpicks. Um, lockpicks will help you, but I basically just unlock these lockers for to hopefully find a key card or lucky gear. So if you don't do kill boxes, yes, loot these. I don't loot them because I don't want to find a kill box card until I'm ready for a kill box card. But looting these is more than enough. Okay, armories are still good for military gear, even if you even if you don't have even if you don't want to lockpick these. Okay? So that's the first that's the first armory. And then what we can do is we can go to the, this middle room over here. And then there's another depository and another armory. Okay. This armory, we found 0 0.50 ammo. Oh, let me just sort out these guys quickly. Because I've got advanced archery, I'm not really scared of them. Okay, 
advanced archery helps a lot for situations like this but i mean doesn't help you for pvp that's why i'd rather let you level up archery and we did we did level up archery you know before i made a mistake and recreated the character so she's gonna close the door and the reason the puppets come to the armory door is because you make noise when you search containers okay so if you don't want puppets to block you at the armory door first make sure you've killed all the puppets that has a clear that has clear access to the door because you're going to make noise when you search when you search it and the reason i'm collecting these things um i can put these boots on right now is because i found the the sewing kit okay so i'm just going to quickly what i'm going to quickly do is eat the mre I'm going to eat the MRE, I'm going to drink the water to fix my water and food. Then I'm going to cut up these puppets to craft a bone and to make this the sewing kit to repair the this clothing. Because the military pants is going to give me more inventory space than, this orange, than the orange pants. And the tactical jacket is going to give me more, it's just going to give me more space. So I'll be back now. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at... Uh, at one of these medical medical lockers okay i found about uh, 10 red screwdrivers because this place has a lot of um bathrooms depositories um so the c2 bunker specializes in medical equipment i have already found antibiotics which you will pay a lot of money for I found the tactical vest, I found the bedroll, and I found painkillers, I found bandages, and I found their antibiotics again, okay? This will cost you a lot. If you have to buy this at the trade, it's going to cost you like 4,000 bucks, okay? So the C2, the C2 bunker definitely specializes for me on military equipment, medical equipment, and food, okay? Because it's got a lot of depositories. So I'd say medical, military, food, and clothing. Okay? Because it's got quite a lot of bar. It's got a few bathrooms. Okay? So it's not bad for that. I just want to craft uh, three more lockpicks here. So I'm going to press Alt-C. I've got advanced thievery. And I did practice my thievery. Okay? So just going to put my DPI a bit lower now gonna take off the gloves which is gonna kill me you can see how much slower my mouse is now so i'm just gonna put the dpi back up so i can mute, m move my mouse faster uh, i'm gonna put that there put my dpi back down and now i've got 10 tries okay to open the silver lock There we go. And we got painkillers. Okay. Medical equipment. If I don't want this to take up a lot of space in my inventory, I'll just craft a bundle. Okay. So, even when I look at the map, let's look at the C2 bunker again. Let's look at the map. I see, a, I see a lot of labs, I see the medical, I see two medical rooms, okay, on the second floor there's two medical rooms, um, there's examination rooms, there's a lot of bathrooms, there's a lot of depositories, so yeah, the C2 is definitely medical and military and clothing related, okay, by far, and then of course it's got the kill box. Um, so again, it's not, yes, you can find a lot of military equipment in here if you search the entire place, because the more corridors you have, it's not about, the, not only about the rooms, the longer the corridors are, the more loot you can find in those corridors, 
okay? And guys, I looted like one room of each, okay? I'm not looting every single room. I looted like one room of each here. Okay, and I've killed all the puppets with a bow. Okay. And now I basically just, like, I don't really need anything right now. Okay. Really don't need anything right now. I'm just looking for the third armory. Then I just wanted to look for this third armory. I'm sure it's got it, I'm sure it's got another armory. There is a smartphone battery, which is very, very important for night vision. There's another piece of clothing. And again, you can find guns in here. Okay, and since I'm bleeding now, best thing to do with these is actually heal them, guys. Because you've got you can see that you've got external pathogens. So one major tip that I want to give you guys is if you start with lower than three constitution, then your immune system is going to be weak. So if you start with like one or two or 1.5 constitution, please do not ignore C1 wounds because the infection will kill you if you don't find antibiotics. So rather apply the bandage. I'm going to get hit on purpose now. Okay, because I've got bandages on me. So I'm just going to take out these bandages. I think I've, I took medical, media medical. Yeah, I took media medical, so I don't, won't need it. I won't really need a lot of bandages. But I'm just going to try and get hit on purpose qu quickly. Just to show you guys the effect that it has. There, here's the third armory, guys. So, the first armory is in the top floor, middle room. Middle room, and I can show you guys right now. The three rooms. This middle room has got the first armory. Closing the door. The middle room on the other side has got the second armory. Okay, closing the door. And then, the side with just two doors, with the exit symbol. Okay, all of them have got the exit symbol, don't worry. The, the room on the left, on the opposite side of those blue gas canisters or whatever, has got the third armory. Okay? And as you can see, I haven't searched anything here. I searched the other two armories. I haven't searched anything here. MP5, yeah, UMP magazine there. And just for fun, let's see if we find anything in these four in these four lockers. Just for fun. Um, where's my bundle? I made a bundle of lockpicks. Where did I put my bundle, guys? Why do I? Why? Why? Oh, okay. The gloves is bothering me when I'm lock picking. Am I blind? Where's my bundle? I probably didn't pick up my bundle, so that's fine. We're not lock picking, but those locks are very, very easy. Okay, so those are the three armories. Okay, and then again, you've got another room down here. Okay, another bathroom. And I do feel I've been unlucky in the bathrooms. Okay, we can't pick that up. Okay, so we're struggling with inventory space at the moment. So we need to start prioritizing. But I've, I feel I've been a bit unlucky with the, with the bathrooms because they usually give you, you know, the, the chance that you're going to get a gun in here is quite high. So I do feel I got a little bit unlucky, but I haven't searched any of these hundreds of containers. And that's what makes the C2 bunker good. Is all these hundreds of containers okay 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 let me just get my bearings here i'm looking at the I'm looking at the scum map again. Okay, so we entered there. And we... 
Gonna take the first one there. Oh, I wanted to get hit. I wanted to get hit. Okay, there we got hit. Now we're gonna hit him. And then we're gonna shoot him. Okay, so. If we look at these injuries, you can already see these infections on them. Okay, my immune system will combat it, but you can see the external pathogens. Until... I put a bandage on it. And I've only got medium medical, but I only need one bandage for a C1. And there we go, another one. Treat. And now you can see no external pathogens, guys. It's the external pathogens that kill you. Okay? So remember, if you create a character with one constitution or two constitution, which is going to suffer from infections and probably kill you most of the time, have absinthe on you that you can clean the wound with absinthe to get rid of the wound germs. Those are the internal pathogens, internal germs, and that you can apply um, and and antiseptic rags okay antiseptic rags that you purified with the absinthe or the rubbing alcohol or with the bandages okay and i think the c2 bunker is very important for you if you want to combat infections with very 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 low constitution because it counters the infection completely you don't have to have a very strong immune system if you apply bandages to C1s. The reason you guys are dying to infections with low constitution is because you aren't applying clean bandages to your C1s because you're not forced to do it. Okay? So we're being lazy. Okay, we got that out of the way. Okay, that kill box hasn't got a room. Okay, guys. So, um... Okay, and you guys just press the middle mouse button, okay? Just press the middle mouse button to hit them away from you. Okay, so if I have to go look at the bunkers, okay? I'm going to point out certain bunkers for you guys. Um, but we're going to have to spawn to a certain bunker that has offices. I'm going to look for the bunker with the most offices. D0 has got three. D2 has four. And it's not very big. D2 has four offices and it's not very big. Okay, let's go on. D3 has four offices and it's not very big. I like D2 and D3. Sorry, guys. I'm just going through the bunkers here. Z zero has only got also got four officers, but it's not. It's quite big. Z one has got six officers, and it's quite small. Z two has got four officers. Okay, so in the Z sectors. Z3 is good for padlocks, officers, and possible hiking backpacks. Z2 is good. Z1 is good. Z0 is not too bad either. In the in the D sectors, D3 and D2 is very good because it's very small and you can get to the officers very quickly. D1 hasn't got officers. Um, D0 has got three officers but nothing to write home about very easy to get to the armories in d0 because you know you'll hit the armories as soon as you enter the bunker um the c the c the c bunkers um no officers really c2 is massive c1 has got four officers very small c0 has got five officers not too big and a nice mixture of everything. Except for the big room. B4 is is good for um, bobby pins because it's got two control rooms with all those desks. So B4 is excellent for bobby pins. And very small. B3 has got zero offices. 
but a lot of uh, a lot of um, depositories, you know, where you can get food. But I mean, if I'm looking now at B3, it's basically depositories. Yeah, there's not my and then the two rooms, not the two rooms. B3 has got that big room as well. Okay, but there's not a lot going for B3 except food. Those big metal rooms and the standard two armories. B2, of course, only has one armory. B2 is really a disappointment, guys. B2 is really a disappointment. Not really a bunker that I want to go to anymore. It's literally got one control room, two depositories, two bathrooms, one armory, one medical room, and a kill box. Very, very underwhelming. B1, of course, is also very small, but it's got three armories that you can that you can get to very, very easily. And of course, guys, all of these bunker plans are at scummap.com. Okay. B0. It's got the big room, which is always nice. Two offices. I think B0 has got everything it's even got the hazmat yeah you it's even got that locker where you can get the hazmat suit and uranium container in so let us just see has it got offices yes has it got armories it looks like it's only got one armory okay it's got depositories it's got a medical room it's got it's got a lot of labs it doesn't have an examination room, but I mean the labs, lab or examination room is roughly the same. And it's got, it's got a few toilets and it's got two offices. So it's a good, good mixture of everything. Very nice balanced um, bunker. Uh, I must say A4 is very, is the easiest to get to the armories because the armories are right there. It's a small bunker so not a lot going on there but again the smaller the bunker the the safer it is the a3 has of course got three armories going for it quite small quite quick to scan through very very quickly and a small bunker is also good because you can get in and get out very very fast and and uh, big clans don't really focus on very small bunkers which is nice as well except if it's close to a you know close to like a nice point of interest then they might loot it but i mean the small bunkers are is very very great with quick in and out a1 not too bad a0 got three offices which you can find quite quickly right from the entrance so yeah guys if i'm looking at if I want to get to offices, the Z and the D sectors are not too bad. So, I want to get to one that's very, very fast. And I want to see if this one's got anything, everything. Four offices, two armories. It's got a depot. It hasn't got labs. And it hasn't got examination rooms. Okay, so... Every time you get a bunker with, with officers, you're sacrificing medical gear, okay? But let's go to D2 quickly. Let's go to D2 quickly, quickly okay? D2 bunker. Okay, let me just quickly see where I am. Here's the bunker. And that's what we look like, guys. This is what we look like after one after one bunker where I didn't loot the entire bunker. I looted absolutely nothing in the corridors. So I missed like a hundred crates um, and didn't loot every single room. Okay, it was a quick scan. And that's what we look like. Okay. After one bunker. Um Okay. So this is D2. He's got four officers. And I want to show you guys the officers. The officers are quite important. Of course, we just want to get rid of these guys. 
How many arrows have I got? Four. Okay, well, we'll just... So, you guys would have seen... I'm going to just throw this away for now, guys, for space. You guys would have seen that we didn't get a lot of padlocks. Like, we got four padlocks in that in the C2 bunker, although we didn't loot everything. This is one office, okay? This is an office. The blue, the blue block on the map is an office, okay? So, let's see how many padlocks we get in one office. We got water inside here, we got scissors. One padlock. Okay. Batteries. Sunglasses. Okay, we got one padlock, which is not too great. I say that's very, very bad for an office. Okay. Now let's go to the next office. This place is four offices. Okay, this is just the kill box room, which is good to loot. There's a lot of containers here. And of course, it's got the hazmat locker. The hazmat locker is always, like I always tell you guys, the two small little windows above with the two radiation symbols is the hazmat locker where you get the hazmat and the uranium container. And then, um, and I can just show you guys here. I can just make it quick here, quickly. Said God mode true. I can just show you guys quickly. It's the hazmat suit, okay? And sometimes you get the uranium container inside it as well. The one with the long windows, the long grids, and the two radiation symbols at the bottom only gives you potassium and, like, gas masks, okay? Very important to know the difference. Um, and then, again, I'm looking for the officers. But, I mean, again, you can loot all of these things. Okay, all of these stuff can give you good loot. These are very nice for clothing and nice surprises. But we're still looking for the officers. Okay. Definitely on level one now. Bathroom armory. Okay. Again, just want to quickly scan the area. There's mil original military boots, which is better than the military boots that we had on. Nothing else inside here. We can find screwdrivers and stuff in there. We can find padlocks in there. Here's the other armory. I can search that, but I'm not in the mood to search that right now because I'm just trying to show you guys. You guys already know what we can get where. Scrap metal, nothing else. Quite unlucky. Quite unlucky. Um, I think we came from this side. Still looking for the officers. I think we've only looted one office so far. This is again an examination room, which the... Okay, so I think Warmonk... I think... Yeah, I think Warmong needs to update the bunker maps, but of course, new bunkers are coming into the game. Let's see what this medical locker would have given us, which we're not going to take. Another, you know, more painkillers. Here's another office. So let's see if this office treats us a bit better. Very surprising. Those boxes there usually gives you a lot of padlocks. So, we're not lucky at the moment with padlocks. But of course, the officers are nice with water and stuff like that. Just searching all four desks, like over everything. 
Okay, we came from this side. Like I said, we can loot this place really, really fast. Now we're at the bottom. Okay, so not crazy about the D2, but that's just because the information, it doesn't have, it doesn't have three officers. It's only got two officers. Okay, so I'm just going to spawn in quickly arrows here. Spawn item arrow. Just wooden arrows 12. Just so that I don't waste your time, your guys' time here. You guys know I know how to craft arrows. Okay, just going to save time here. And then we need to go west. Get to... To get to the bunker. And if we look at the map quickly... We're gonna go to D3 now. So D3, we go down the entrance and it should have four officers, which should be very easy. So if the map, if the map is right, then there should be four officers straight down the entrance. Don't really like going down the ladder here. It's a little bit risky for me. Not one of my favorite ladders, that. Coming in here is way easier for me. Is the painkiller still in my system? Yeah, the painkillers is in my system. But I think I'm just gonna make a run for it. Okay, so these are two examination rooms. I can just close the door quickly. Again, guys, I'm doing this with no stealth skill. So just going to quickly see if there's anything that I can use inside here. That thing I can unlock. Let's see if I unlocked it with lock picking. I would have gotten five bandages. This place has nine ammo. This can give me night vision, which we haven't gotten lucky with once yet. And I can always use this, okay? I can always use these items and um, to cut them up with scissors. But let's get to the to the offices. So these are two easy armories. Okay. That's very important. The broken gun is very important. That's how I want to end this video. That broken gun is very important. I'm not even going to search the things. There's a military quiver, which is very, very important. And uh, like I said, I'm not even going to um, search all the other things where we could have gotten cool stuff in. I'm looking for the... Again, I'm just wondering... That was a straight path that I took in. No, it's not a straight path. They say I should have kept going straight. It says I... I just ran into the armories. Entrance. Okay. The bunker maps need updating, guys. The bunker maps need to be updated. We can go and check this bathroom. Again, just looking for things that's lying around. Again, clothing. Again, that will help me a heck of a lot. Four rags, in case we get into trouble. Still looking for the officers. That's the stairs. I know this place has got offices. Just 
Just waiting for the suicide puppet to sort itself out. There's the bathroom again. Antibiotics. Clothing. Open up the doors. See if there's anything else here. That is a medical room, which is nice. We're looking for the officers. Apparently, this is where we were. Ripley's, believe it or not. No, we were not here, so... Oh, the suicide puppet hurt them. The suicide puppet that exploded hurt them. I'm with them now. I know what's going on. Okay, so we're going to run this way. This is a... Uh, examination room again. Examination room where they examine you. Um, got again kill box room, which you can always find nice loot inside and extra lockers to open up. Okay, always extra lockers to like lo open up. Okay, so most of the most of the scum maps are still accurate, guys. I mean the corridors, like how to get around the place should be roughly the same again this is the hazmat suit locker okay uranium container hazmat suit which you can find in d3 and this is a medical locker yeah, medical equipment and like like i say the um The Phoenix Tears is epic, but very, very rare. Okay. So, guys, I think the video has gone on for long enough. Okay. Just understand that labs and officers are good for padlocks. These are also good for padlocks. Because you're searching the same kind of boxes that you would have searched in an office, okay? So whether it's a lab or an office, it doesn't matter. It can still give you padlocks, okay? But offices are the main place for padlocks, okay? And we are getting very unlucky with padlocks. That's as clear as they like. But find a bunker with a lot of with a lot of offices and then search those offices for padlocks okay you'll get padlocks really 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 fast in offices and of course if you search this entire place you'll get a lot of stuff okay so just understand that there's differences between bunkers and as we saw c2 is not the best um when it comes to padlocks okay it it doesn't c2 doesn't specialize in everything because it hasn't got all the rooms so every bunker specializes with different things the smaller the bunker the better because it's going to be very easy for you to hear people in a small bunker they can't be far away from you it's going to be very easy for you to find out if someone's in there with open doors or dead puppets um where in a big bunker like C2, you won't know people are in there unless you're close to them. And it's a very, very big bunker, okay? So small bunkers have their advantages. Loot all the bunkers. Um, get comfortable with the sentry paths. And, you know, find, bu find bunkers for the loot that you're looking for. So if you're looking for military loot, you're going to C2. You're going to um, the 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 bunkers with the with the three armories and someone can just make a note for me in the comments okay um because it's c2 okay so someone write in the comments for me the four bunkers with three armories is c2 
Just want to scroll you, scroll through you. C2, B3, B1. C2, B3, B1. And A3. Okay? C2. Okay. Just refresh my memory here. C2. Okay. So we have to start from the, the bottom. Okay? So to make it easier for people, we go A3. Because we're starting at A. A3. B1, B3, C2, okay? That's where you go for for military gear. Um, you know, then there's a lot of other points of interest where you can go for military gear as well. But explore this for yourselves, okay? If you've got any other tips on the subject that I'm speaking about, leave it down in the comments below. And, um, yeah, I'll start planning... The next thing that we need to learn about but what i'm gonna do now guys is again to skip time here we're gonna go to the trader we're at d1 so we'll go to the c2 trader hello what is your emergency okay so except for antibiotics saving your life Look at this, 300 bucks for the painkillers, 600 bucks for the painkillers, 200 bucks there, 200 bucks there, okay? Good money, good, 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 good money, okay? Um, don't know where the big box of antibiotics are. Where's, the, where, didn't we pick up a big, big thing of antibiotics? Whatever, we probably left it on the ground, guys. It does really matter. And, okay, and then we just have to... We had fame with the previous All character, in good guys. Health. We did have fame with the previous character. So let's just set um, fame points here to 200. That's fine. 200. We can get 200 fame points very, very easily. Um, and now, what I want to show you guys about finding broken guns in Welcome, bunkers... Stranger. We have got a block 21. If we had to buy a block from the trader, it would cost us $2,400, which is a lot of money. But if we found the gun and we, found, and we got a toolbox, then we could have re broken this gun down, disassembled it and for block parts, and that 37%, if we repaired this gun with that gun, it would have been 70%, okay? So that already helps. We're just going to sell this gun quickly because I don't like it. But in any case, what I'm trying, to, what I'm trying to show you guys here is finding Obviously. a certain model gun helps you a ton because instead of spending 2,400 for the gun, like I like an SF, I like an SF, um... This is my favorite pistol, SF. But if I have to buy the SF, I'm going to pay 6,000 bucks for it. But if I find an SF-19, uh, you know, HS, SF-19, if I find one, I'm saving four and a half thousand bucks because the parts are only 1,400, okay? So the parts are usually just 25% of the entire price of the gun. You know, not exactly here, but still, I can buy these parts, okay? And then I can put the parts on the table, and then I can repair this gun fully. Okay? I've got a great gun there now. And I can repair this gun just to get rid of the parts that I had left, which increases that price, okay? That thing registered. <laughs> Kidding. And now Nobody I've, cares. Now I've got a full block, and I'm sure I got a block magazine. No, I didn't get a block magazine, but I can afford a block magazine. Okay? 
That's the thing. If you want to buy an M M9. Security reasons. Just find an Obviously. M just find an M9. It's the same as the block. You're gonna save a heck of a lot of money. Okay? Very, very important things for you to think about. And it gets worse, like buying a VHS, which takes 240 fame. I set frame to 240, man. 240. Okay. Buying a VHS. Okay. It's $21,000. But this is the CT model. So it doesn't really matter. So to buy this gun is $21,000. But if you find a broken one, it's, if you find a broken one, this, to have a fully repaired gun like this, is only $4,000. So that is why when you find a car 98 in a World War II bunker, it's fantastic. Because it would have All cost right. you 17000 but you just have to pay 3700 for the parts. Why did I show you to loot the, the big bunker? Because if you loot the big uh, the the city, why did I show you to loot the city? Because you loot the city, you can find a Dawa sword, okay? And a Dawa sword goes for about three thousand bucks. bucks, okay? <laughs> Kidding. And if you Nobody found the car ninety eight in the World War Two bunker, then you could have repaired the car ninety eight fully now, you know, and then saved up for some ammo, or whatever the case Guns may be. Guns come unloaded, security reasons. And, and don't don't sell things for cheap, guys. Like this, this is basically for a deagle or improvised handgun. If you're never going to use the deagle, sell that it. Thing registered because that's a bit of money. <laughs> Kidding. I'm not going to sell cares. this because I'm not going to sell the compass because I'm going to use the compass. I'm never going to use that gun. Probably never going to use the UMP. But I mean, might use an it might use an MP5 at some point. Okay. So don't sell items for very, very cheap. Okay? And if you want to be come unloaded. If you want to be potent reasons. with a bow. Obviously. Get brought in carbon arrows. Okay. Like you don't need a lot. If you see players, if you don't kill them within five shots. You're probably dead already, okay? But have some broadhead carbon, car car carbon arrows so that you can, so that you've got a possibility Bye. to kill a person very, very quickly. And like I told you, if you had to buy the antibiotics. Hello. What is your emergency? If you have to buy the antibiotics, $10,000. What you found within the medical lockers cost three thousand. What and each of them are like seven hundred and eighty. Okay, painkillers are are co cost a lot. So finding these things is worth a lot of money, guys. Because if you don't find them, you have to spend a lot of money on them. I have no idea. And then vitamin pills, the you know, vitamin pills hey, are work. not that bad. You know, you could buy vitamin pills. And then you can see here all the benefits that the vitamin pills is giving you. Okay, there's 30 uses. This is per use. Okay, so the, the all the numbers are a little bit too high. But if you look at the vitamin D, it's 0 0.2. So it's 2, 4, 6. It's going to give us 6, 6 micrograms of vitamin D if we eat all. All in good health. Okay, it's going to give us 6. So... It's going to go over 15. It's going to end at 16. You know? And we can see it's basically raising everything. The vitamin pills, you know, is raising almost everything. So, you know, it's really, really good. But that's why I say just utilize everything. Everything works together. That's the biggest thing. That's the biggest lesson I can give you. Everything works together. And that's why I don't like it when people just loot one bunker. 
That's why I don't like it when people get tunnel vision. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to browse around. It crushes the experience for them. Could this have helped me with bandages or rags? Yes, but I can sell it as well. Do I want to craft ammo? Yeah. Yes, because I definitely don't want to sell it. Do I want to use this dialogue? Yeah. Yes, dialogue will help help for a person to waste their time. Do I have a base at the moment? No. So I'm just looking at value. I'm just looking at what can give me a lot of money. That's definitely not worth it, you know? But I don't need to have a bedroll because there's free beds in every single town. And if I eat any food, it counters it, counters it in any case, okay? It counters the fatigue in any so, case. So what will it be? And that's it. Okay, do I need a little bit more inventory space? Sure. Here's what I've got. So then I just get a spore and bag for 500. That gives me nine extra slots with five kilograms, which makes a major difference. Do I need another sewing kit? Yes, but I dropped thread on the ground, so I could have probably made my own sewing kit. But Here's what I've got. I can buy a sewing kit right here for 900 which is extremely expensive. So I'd rather just buy thread, which is $250, um, which, is, which is better, which is better. So I'm rather just going to buy the thread, get a bow needle from a puppet, you know, and repair all my gear. Good boy. And then I don't need water. I really don't need... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't need water. Water is easy to find. But I do need food. And I want to buy bread here. Clientele. Step right up. I want to buy bread. And then I want to eat all. My doors are always open. And I want to eat about half of it if I can. But I want to stop my stomach before it goes to 90% because when it goes past 90%, it's going to give me negative effects. So I want to stop it at 48, 47, around there. So I've only ate, eaten half of the bread. And I've got like 170 grams of carbs and 40 grams of protein, which you know, will make sure that I'm still leveling up my strength as I run. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do because these videos are very, very important for you to learn. And my upcoming 0 0.85 guide will be very advanced where I'll probably be skipping a lot of the very, very basic steps. Okay. Um, it will be for new people, but my long time community will learn a lot from it as well. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Have a great day. See you guys next time. Cheers.